Hello to all fans of cool accessories for PS5. It's been almost four years since the release of the console, and different companies have released a lot of interesting and useful accessories for our PS5. So I decided to collect them all in one place. All presented useful accessories and their analogs will be in the description below the video. There will be both official and third-party products. So let's not delay and begin our video. And right away, let's talk about additional cooling of PlayStation 5. This is an important point to keep an eye on, especially if you bought the console of the first revisions at the start of sales. Then you noticed how the console became louder in operation. So to get rid of this, there is an additional cooler for blowing out hot air. It is attached to the radiator grill from behind and connected via USB. There are many variants of such coolers, you can choose what you like, but the main thing is that it works, lowering the temperature of the console and, as a consequence, reducing FPS drops and random breaking in games. The next thing worth talking about is headphones. Of course, you can use the usual wired ones, connect to a gamepad or a TV, or buy the new Pulse Explorer headphones. Or don't bother and buy the official Pulse 3D headphones, which came out almost immediately after the console itself, so they have the same futuristic design. They have quality materials and 3D audio functions, where you realize when the sound comes from the left, top, bottom, and other sides. Dual microphones allow you to drown out all the noise so that the people you're talking to can only hear your voice. Plus, they connect quickly over the air without annoying settings. And although there are certified headphones for PS5 from other companies, the same Steel series, but just because of the design, I choose Pulse 3D. Speaking of design, the standard look of PS5 is very unusual, but you can customize it to your taste as much as possible. On the internet, you can order custom side panels, which different artists like to paint. As they are completely white, it looks cool, but it costs a lot. But if you do not want to overpay, you can buy just replaceable panels, as official from Sony. And other sellers, moreover, other sellers have a choice of prints much more, and the price is much cheaper. There are even panels for the slim version, for example to remove the disk drive and make a unique game console. Another thing is stickers on the glossy center part, which out of the box strongly collects fingerprints and dust, and worst of all, scratches literally from wiping. So many people have long been hiding this front panel under stickers, and the choice is huge. From transparent matte film to carbon, colored options with patterns, and more in general for every taste and color. And along with that, you can also customize the PS5's glow. That is, stick colored filters on the side LEDs so that they shine not blue at the time of operation, but for example, purple or red. Personally, I liked the idea of stickers on the PlayStation icon under the panel the most. You can make both just a colored version and the original, that is, the old buttons of several colors. By the way, you can play not only on the console itself, but also on your smartphone. Sony even released a special gamepad for this purpose, and I did not even know about it until I started to make a review of the best accessories for PS5. Since it is an official Bluetooth controller, like hundreds of others just from the official company and in canonical colors, it connects to the phone and allows playing remotely. The only interesting is that the gamepad allows you to play in Xbox Cloud and other services and even works with mobile games that support such control. In general, there are many different devices for streaming, one of which is the Logitech G Cloud, which has a bigger screen than your smartphone. With all the services installed and everything, check it out you might like it. But for gaming on the console itself, nothing better than a bundled gamepad has been invented yet. 
even taking into account that DualSense Edge has been released, which I didn't even include in this selection because of the huge price and little sense, as the main difference is the ability to change sticks without disassembling the gamepad. Although it will be much cheaper to disassemble and rear triggers for better control in shooters so that during a roll, jump, or reload not to take your finger off the stick, thus better controlling the game. Except that these triggers can be added to the regular dual sense as well, and there are two options for doing so. The first one, which is placed in the USB-C port, looks like an ordinary overlay, but here it's not triggers, but buttons, however, it's comfortable to play too. However, if you need triggers, there is a second option, but for it, you will have to disassemble the gamepad, connect an additional cable to the triggers, and replace the default back panel with a new one with triggers. You can even buy a full-fledged keyboard, which is attached to the bottom of the gamepad, and in this format, it is not very convenient to play. But in some games with chat, this thing is indispensable. However, with the keyboard gamepad does not become on charging in the docking station. A thing, by the way, also indispensable, because PS controllers have long been equipped with non-removable batteries, which cannot be quickly replaced, as in the Xbox, and many people buy a second gamepad which during the game put on charging and then if necessary quickly change. Well, or just buy a docking station for one controller to put on a stand after a gaming session where it will be automatically charged so you don't have to spend extra time. Moreover, if you often take out anger for losing games on the gamepad, because the team was not very strong you will come in handy. Here is such a silicone anti-stress in the form of a controller. It is then you can crumple and throw, and he will not be anything. Moreover, the thing is really interesting as a gift for a fan, and as a decoration. But the gamepad is not ideal for all games. Fighting games are very popular on consoles. And for battles in such games, there are separate controllers where one lever, or what to call it, an enlarged stick, and eight buttons under the other hand to successfully make combos. That is a professional station for those who only play such games, like steering wheels for racing games. And since we've already mentioned steering wheels, let's talk a little bit about them. Officially, Sony does not produce steering wheels for its console, so other companies do it. In particular, the most popular option is the Logitech G923, which has a huge functionality to match its huge price, duplicating all the gamepad buttons on the steering wheel itself, three pedals, and a large angle of rotation. Another thing that will come in handy for gaming fans is memory expansion. SSDs from different companies have already been released for different budgets, and it's just worth remembering that old games from the last generation can be safely installed on an external hard disk via USB. Adapters for such disks and the disks themselves are sold for a couple of cents. More modern SSDs cost a lot of money, but games with them are almost loaded instantly. And from what can be useful for everyone, let's move on to more narrowly focused accessories. For example, PS5 can not only run games but also different multimedia. For example, you can watch streaming services or YouTube videos on the console. Of course, you can control by default and gamepad, but in such applications, it is better to use a convenient remote control. Another thing that can improve the gaming experience is backlighting on the back of the TV. They exist different variations that just shine, or some even repeat the colors that are shown on the screen right now. And then there's the last one, which is fantastic. It's like they blur the boundaries of the TV screen, further immersing you in the game, especially if you play at night. And I can't say about the VR helmet from Sony, it's not just an accessory, but a whole new gaming experience. True, it's not the most useful either. As for me, there are many more games and applications on PC where VR is revealed much better, while costing, for example, the same Oculus even cheaper. But if you don't have a powerful PC or you only play on PlayStation, 
then there aren't many alternatives. Either the first version of PSVR for PS4 through an adapter, or PSVR 2. Admittedly, there aren't many games for VR 2. It's a shame VR hasn't become something mainstream like it was supposed to, although maybe it's just not time yet. The last thing I'd like to tell you about is a full-fledged docking station, which includes a stand for the console with a cooler, only unlike the one we started with, here they are located at the bottom. There is also a mount for two gamepads with charging, a headphone holder, compartments for disc boxes, you can even put a remote control, and so on. Not the most practical thing, given the already large size of the console, but if you have space for it, not to collect everything separately, it's done for you in one device. Well, that's the end of the video. If I forgot something, write about it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give me likes, and see you in the new videos.